Chicken Lickin. On a sunny farm, there lived a fuzzy yellow chick called Chicken Lickin. He was happy and hoppy, but he wasn't the brightest chicken in the coop. Where's my hat? I can't find it anywhere. One warm autumn day, Chicken Lickin was hop skip skipping through the woods when suddenly an acorn dropped from a tree and bounced off his head. Click, clack, clunk. Oh, my feathers. Was that a piece of sky? He squeaked. Help. Oh, help. Trembling, Chicken Lickin scurried back to the hen house, squawking. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. What's all this noise? Clucked Henny Penny. The sky is falling, panted Chicken Lickin. It went click, clack, clunk right on my head. Henny Penny dropped her spectacles. Dear me, she gasped. We must tell the king. He'll know what to do. So Chicken Lickin and Henny Penny ran over to the duck pond, squawking and clucking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. Did I hear the sky is falling? Quacked Ducky Lucky. Yes, it fell on my head. Click, clack, clonk, said Chicken Lickin. What will we do? cried Ducky Lucky. The king will save us, Henny Penny clucked. We must find him at once. So Chicken Lickin, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky dashed off again. Squawking and clucking and quacking, the sky is falling. We must find the king. The sky is falling, gobbled Turkey Lurkey. Quick, take cover, and he leaped into the bushes to hide. There's no time to lose, cried Chicken Lickin. We must hurry to find the king. So Chicken Lickin, Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey charged down the path, shouting, The sky is falling. We must find the king. But it wasn't the king they saw. It was Foxy Loxy. What seems to be the matter, my fine feathered friends? grinned Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling, puffed Chicken Lickin. We must tell the king. Foxy Loxy licked his lips. Quote, poor little birds, he smirked. Come with me and I'll help you find the king. And so, Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. The animal started in the bookshop. The king's not in here, said Foxy Loxy, peeping into a recipe book. Can you see him? And I don't see him here. How frightful, Foxy Loxy muttered. He's not under here. Now I remember where the king is. Foxy Loxy said with a sly smile. I invited him to my den for dinner. Oh, do say you'll join our feast. Don't worry, my tasty little friends. It's not much further to my den, chuckled Foxy Loxy, starting to drool. Foxy Loxy opened the door and the birds waddled slowly inside. It was cold and dark in Foxy Loxy's den. I don't see the king, muttered Henny Penny. Perhaps he's running late. I can't see anything at all, whispered Chicken Lickin. Then Foxy Loxy lit the chandelier. It's almost time for dinner, he purred. What's for dinner? asked Ducky Lucky. You are, cried Foxy Loxy, and he leaped at the birds. Help, they all cried. Help! And they squawked and screeched and fluttered and flapped until the whole den shook and the chandelier fell. Click, clack, clonk onto Foxy Loxy's head. Yikes, shrieked Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling. And he dashed away as fast as he could, straight into the king. Greetings, crowed the king. What's this I hear about the sky is falling? The whole town is in the flutter. But look, dear friends, this great blue sky is still up there. Chicken Licking gazed up, and he saw that the king was right. So the birds hop, skip, skipped under the bright sky all afternoon, and they never saw Foxy Loxy ever again. The End